、すみません、本当にいい加減にしてくれないですか。イントロ。Hello world, this is Dean from Japan, and I have to warn you that today's video is a little bit dark and serious. But yes, I'll try to sprinkle some humor. And yes, I did practice that movement a little bit. So, before I'm going to start talking about my psycho Japanese neighbor, there is a bit of preamble that starts with the question Do you guys believe in supernatural things like fate and higher power? I actually don't believe in things like fate and, you know, it was meant to be because you create your own destiny. But I actually do believe that some people. Have a certain propensity to attract certain things. So, what I believe is that people might attract the same kind of events over and over again, whether they intend it or not. So, for example, right, Naomi Osaka might keep getting stupid race based questions. Is that a question? <laughs> While Jane Charles k e e p getting underage boys messaging him, or that's his excuse. I think I developed this idea of people attracting certain things because in Japan we have this superstition in which we believe that there are different types of fortunes. So, if you want to pray at a Shinto shrine, depending on what your wish is, you go to different shrines specializing in different things. So, one example, right? There are shrines that specialize in academia, and at these shrines, you'd see students queuing up to buy good luck amulets before exam times. And other shrines would specialize in things like romance and money. This is because in Shintoism, it is said that there are over 8 million gods. Wow! That means that this world is full of gods. So, my wish is for this channel to become bigger.、Um, I really love doing YouTube and I really want to keep growing. So, I wonder which Japanese. <laughs> Japanese? Japanese. Okay. Let me try that again. So, I wonder which Japanese god is the god of influencers and YouTubers, but I'm not sure if I really want to go to a shrine that attracts a bunch of vapid b u l l The reason why I had this long preamble is because I wanted to say, in my case, when it comes to neighbors and housemates, oh my god, I had some of the worst luck. I've briefly mentioned this in these three past videos. But when it comes to the worst housemate story, I have not met a single person that had a crazier story than mine. My last housemate, who wasn't the worst I've had, went through my mails and hacked into my email account toward the end. And I was like, dude, we're just housemates, mate. We're not even dating. That's the kind of stuff that crazy girlfriends and controlling psycho boyfriends do. Um, notice how I try to be equal between genders. Did you catch that? Right? Right? So, after I moved out from that house, I started living alone, and things were okay because I was living in an Airbnb apartment, so I had no fixed neighbors. There were just a bunch of tourists coming in and out. But when I moved to my current apartment, the nightmare started again. I started hearing my neighbor shouting. And I was like, man, what this again? <laughs>、um, I once moved into an apartment in Melbourne where all the neighbors hated each other. And it escalated to the point that these neighbors were throwing flower pots at each other. Thinking about it now, I think they completely deserved each other. They were all selfish. And, you know, they should have realized this and gotten married to each other and started a polygamous cult somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere far away from the rest of the population who aren't as selfish as they were. And because I had to deal with crazy neighbors like that, I really didn't want to become involved with my neighbors. But、um, the situation kind of forced me to. So,、um, I currently live outside of Japan and my neighbors are Japanese. But when I first heard my neighbors shouting in Japanese, it was something like seven in the morning and she was just shouting at her son. So, they were coming out of their unit and were walking to elevators and they were shouting at the hallway so I could hear everything. The kid was crying and you could hear that he was crying really hard. And the mother was saying things like, Urusai! Urusai! Shut up! Shut up! To the crying child. And I was like, is this normal? Isn't that emotional abuse? 
I did think of intervening, but you know, it was in the morning and I was in I was in the middle of changing my clothes. So if I had gone out in my underwear, I would be the problematic neighbor. This happened a few more times when they were shouting in the hallway. At first, I contacted the reception, and I also decided to record the shouting just as evidence. So, listening to that, what did you think? Did you think that that was normal? And what kind of woman did you picture in your head when you heard the audio? So this was happening quite frequently, and I had hoped that talking to the reception would help because she might realize that people were complaining about her, and she might think twice about her action. I did mention this to my friends, and one of them said that getting on the wrong side of neighbors could make your life hell. So tread carefully. Because of my past experiences with crazy housemates and neighbors, I really didn't want to intervene. But I also didn't think an environment where a kid is being frequently shouted at by his mother was healthy. She was shouting things like "Don't cry, nakuna," and "Urusai, shut up." So I decided to confront her directly, and this is what happened. それとあんたの叫び声なんですけれども本当に不愉快です。ごめんなさい。気をつけて。大丈夫なんですか本当に。大丈夫です。この遊んでる声とかだよ。私の隣声はまあ私やりなんですけど、子供の遊び声とか。
unless you're Marie Kondo, you probably have a lot of crap in your house to pack as well. I saw her husband and he seemed like a social K type or a Harvey board. That's what us Japanese refers to a type of guys that wouldn't actively pursue a woman. So basically, we're talking about harmless looking guys who are quiet and expect the woman to make the first move. Both the mother and the father seemed timid, so I knew that they would never do anything to me. They weren't crazy like the flower pot throwing tribe that I had to deal in Melbourne. But whether it's just calling the relevant authority, there are things that you can do. But I have to stress this again, please. If you decide to deal with your neighbors, please, please, please be aware of the situation and your surrounding to make sure that you're safe and that you're not gonna make things worse for yourself. The second reason for posting this video is that people assume that all Asian families are super close and they all get along well. Um, I also think that a lot of people assume that Japan is just like any other Asian country, but we're still an island nation and us Japanese people are proud to be really different and separate from the rest of the world. We're the Galapagos of Asia. Nuclear family has become common in Japan, but even if we're talking about Asian countries in general, placing an expectation onto people to be close with their family no matter what, and turning a blind eye to what is actually happening can be a bit dangerous. This is because awful parents and family members can happen in any race or nationality. This kind of relates to the model minority myth where people just expect Asians to not have any problems whatsoever and don't require any outside resource or help. I do agree that outside of Japan and maybe even South Korea, you don't really hear about Asian people cutting ties with their own family, which I think is absolutely crazy. Um, I'm not gonna specify which Asian country this was, but I've heard a story about this Asian guy who had inappropriate things done by his uncles. So we're talking about two of them and he still kept in touch with his relatives. I thought that was absolutely crazy. I understand that not having a family can make things difficult, but sometimes cutting ties with toxic people is the best course of action. I don't think interacting with someone that molests as a kid is healthy and although I didn't know this guy personally I've heard that he had a lot of mental issues. Just because someone is your family member doesn't mean that they automatically deserve your approval. Lastly I hope that wherever the kid is I hope that he remember that there was someone that intervened and I hope that other adults would also intervene if the mother started acting problematically again in the future. I know this isn't really a pleasant topic to cover, but I thought it was an important video to make. Thanks a lot for watching until the end, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.